In this problem, we have an arithmetic sequence. And what we want to find is a formula for the nth term. So instead of finding the 10th or the 18th or the 67th term, we want to show the formula that you'd use to find any term at all, what we call the nth term. I think the best way to do this is first to write out the math behind these first few items in the sequence. So uh, the first element is 1. The second element, what are we doing here? Well, to get from 1 to negative 2, it looks like we're subtracting 3. And to get from negative 2 to negative 5, we're subtracting 3. And from negative 5 to negative 8, we're subtracting 3. So every time, we're subtracting 3. So we could write this second element as our starting point, 1 minus 3. And our third element, we could write as our starting point, minus 3 minus 3. And our fourth element, likewise, our starting point, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Did that three times to get to the fourth element. Now, what we want to do is rewrite this chunk here in terms of multiplication. So this is really 1, and I'm going to say plus negative 3 times itself, or added to itself, so times 3. So 3, negative 3, so 3 times negative 3. And this, likewise, is 1 plus a negative 3 times 2. And this is 1 plus a negative 3 times 1. And this we can really write as 1 plus a negative 3 times 0. It seems silly to write that as 1 plus negative 3 times 0, but we're trying to be consistent because we want to make that general formula. Once we have it written out this way, we can see that the only number that's changing each time is this one. And we want to see how that's related to which element it is to this 1, 2, 3, 4. What you can see is it's always 1 less. 0 is 1 less than 1. 1 is less th 1 less than 2. 3 is 1 less than 4. So this number, well, the number of the element, we call that n. So this number right here is n minus 1. So a way to write a general formula for this would be 1 plus negative 3 times n minus 1. So that's a good general formula. But we can actually simplify this algebraically. I think what I'm going to do is distribute the negative 3. So let me write up here. I've got my 1 still. And then negative 3 times n is uh, a negative 3n. And negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive uh, 3. So let's see. four or 1 plus 3 is 4, combining the like terms. So that's 4. And then plus a negative 3n, that's the same as minus 3n. So that's probably as simple as we can make that rule. So what we did was write out each of these terms uh, in terms of the math that was going on. And then we uh, rewrote this uh, subtraction or addition of negative 3 in terms of multiplication so that we could make a general rule. And then we just simplified a little bit with algebra. So that's how to write a rule for an arithmetic sequence.